Have you ever seen a Bulmatian or a Gerberian Shepsky? So guess what? These beings actually exist, and they're dogs. Isn't it intriguing? Throughout the 20th century, scientists conducted numerous horrifying and unethical experiments on animals to combine them with human genes to create an abomination known as a hybrid between humans and animals. Such trials have been hidden for many years, but thanks to a recent occurrence, many answers concerning the genesis of these experiments have come to light. Crossbreeding is the mating of animals from two different breeds. Breeds are often selected for complementing qualities that will increase the economic worth of the progeny. However, crossbreeding has its drawbacks. When the hybrid is not what was envisioned, the consequence of crossbreeding might be a complete catastrophe. Crossbreeding has therefore been declared immoral in certain situations, regardless of how well intended it may be. Where do we draw the line? There have been instances when scientists crossed borders and continued their investigations, regardless. In today's video, we'll discuss the 10 most horrific crossbreeding experiments scientists don't want you to know about. Number 10. Human Z you could think that crossbreeding is simply a colossal thought experiment and that although we can talk until the cows come home, we'll never be able to put it to the test. This type of research is now obviously prohibited due to ethical concerns. Still, in the 1920s, the Russian biologist Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov, a specialist in artificial insemination and hybridization, attempted to build a living super warrior under Stalin's leadership. The aim was to create a pain and cold insensitive creature with human-like strength. Fortunately, artificial insemination had already been developed, so no humans were forced to have sex with an ape. Ivanov instead attempted to impregnate female chimps using human sperm. All three efforts at fertilization were unsuccessful. Dr. Ivanov's studies became more special once he chose human volunteers, in this instance Soviet women, to be inseminated with chimp sperm. Fortunately or tragically, depending on your point of view, the story stops here. It's still uncertain if this experiment was carried out but did not result in conception or whether it was unable to be carried out because either the male ape died too soon or Ivanov was caught as secret information about the experiments began to seep out just before he could carry them out. Approximately 50 years later, a creature known as Oliver has caused a commotion in the United States. Oliver was thought to be a human Z, the missing link between the two species. Since his face and demeanor were human-like, he walked on two feet and he seemed to have unchimp-like self-awareness. Oliver's owners claimed he had 47 chromosomes, which were never proved by official authorities, but it won him fame and renown. After 25 years in the limelight, scientists dispelled Oliver's claim by delivering a DNA study revealing that Oliver is merely a regular chimp with 48 chromosomes. Number 9. Two-Headed Dog A two-headed dog is a groundbreaking invention. Demikov successfully grafted a tiny puppy's head onto an adult's head back in 1954. He stitched the circulatory system of the dogs together and used plastic threads to link their vertebrae. The puppy's head snarled and growled. It licked the hand that stroked it. When it became thirsty, it drank milk. The puppy's head stuck out its tongue and panted when it got hot. As Demikov did not connect the puppy's gullet to the big dog's stomach, the puppy's food and drink passed through a tube on the floor. After six days, the two-headed dog died. Demikov performed many more dog head transplants, increasing the animal's survival rate. One of the hybrid dogs survived for 29 days. The word of these tests quickly went around the globe. People were perplexed as to why anyone would create a two-headed dog. Demikov was accused of unethical behavior and branded a charlatan. Demikov was willing to face criticism since he understood he was paving the route for the future. Surgeons all across the globe started to think transplantation was viable after seeing his work. Number 8. Woolly Mammoth The underlying concept behind the Jurassic Park films, using recovered DNA to genetically resurrect an extinct species, may be moving closer to reality with the formation this week of a new company aiming to bring back woolly mammoths thousands of years after the last of the giants vanished from the Arctic tundra. To be honest, What's being suggested is a hybrid made by splicing fragments of DNA extracted from frozen mammoth specimens into that of an Asian elephant, the mammoth's closest living cousin, using the gene editing technique CRISPR-Cas9. The emerging creature dubbed a mammophant would appear and act like a woolly mammoth. Colossal Biosciences intends to conceive an elephant with an embryo of mammoth and elephant cells. Woolly mammoths were extinct after the last ice age around 4,000 years ago. 
According to Colossal's team, reintroducing them is a step towards future technical improvements in environmental protection. Colossal leverages the exponential progress made in technologies for reading and writing DNA and applies it to iconic ecological conservation and carbon sequestration issues, says George Church, a fellow co-founder. The Harvard University biologists and other proponents of the de-extinction movement claim that the initiative, combined with discoveries in biology and evolution, has the potential to help restore ecosystems and boost biodiversity. Number 7. Human Cow Eggs British researchers claim to have generated embryos and stem cells from human and cow egg cells. Still, they warn that such trials will not result in hybrid human-animal offspring or direct medicinal cures. Dr. Lyle Armstrong of Newcastle University presented preliminary data on his research to Israel's parliament. Newcastle University stated in a statement posted on Tuesday that other experts had not examined it. They claim to have hollowed out cow egg cells, introducing human DNA to produce a developing embryo and then disassemble it to get embryonic stem cells. Other experts agree that such research would only be a preliminary step toward understanding the biology of embryonic stem cells, the body's ultimate master cells capable of providing rise to all other cells and tissue. Number 6. The Dodo Bird no other species is as inextricably tied with extinction as the dodo, a strange-looking flightless bird that thrived on the Indian Ocean island of Mauritius until the late 17th century. Sailors brought exotic animals such as rats and hunting habits with them. They drove the dodo, which had no fear of people, to extinction for decades. Now, a group of scientists aims to resurrect the dodo in an audacious project combining improvements in ancient DNA sequencing, gene editing technologies, and synthetic biology. They believe that the experiment will lead to new methods of bird conservation. However, the subsequent work required to resurrect the animal, programming cells from an existing relative, the dodo with the DNA of the lost bird, will be significantly more difficult. Number 5. Human Rabbit Embryo According to a study in a scientific magazine, scientists in China have employed cloning procedures for the first time to make hybrid embryos that have a mix of DNA from both humans and rabbits, reigniting the simmering moral debate over cloning research. More than 100 hybrids, created by combining rabbit eggs with human skin cells, were allowed to mature in laboratory plates for several days before being killed to extract embryonic stem cells from their innards. Although scientists in Massachusetts had previously attempted to create hybrid embryos from human cells and cow eggs, those experiments were unsuccessful. Researchers expressed optimism that the rabbit study might result in a new and copious study of embryonic stem cells for research and, ultimately, medicinal usage. However, theologians and others condemned the work as unethical. The overwhelming bulk of the DNA in the embryos is human, with the rabbit egg contributing a minor fraction of genetic material termed mitochondrial DNA. No one knows whether such an embryo could grow into a viable baby, while trials with other animals indicate that it would not. Number 4. Pig Infused with Human Blood As unsettling as it may seem, two scientists from the University of Minnesota, Dan Gary and Mary Gary, succeeded in growing pig embryos with human muscle. The two seek to grow human organs inside animals for transplantation. They produce pigs with human muscle, particularly human vasculature, since the recipient's body may reject the transplanted organ if it contains porcine blood vessels. Dan and Mary conducted their experiment by inserting genetically modified human iPS cells into pig embryos in surrogate pigs during 17 to 27 days of gestation. The chimeric embryos included evidence of hematological and muscular tissue made entirely of human cells. However, they believe such experiments are ineffective solutions to the declining number of transplants because the modifications could pose a significant cancer risk to the recipient. Number 3. Killer Bees The Africanized bee is a cross between the Western and African honeybees. When bees from Southern Africa and native Brazilian honeybees mated, these so-called killer bees were born. The Africanized bees were discovered in Brazil in the 1950s. It spread fast across Central and South America when a few swarms escaped quarantine. The first Africanized bees were found in the United States in 1985 in an oil field in California. The first permanent Africanized bee colonies arrived in Texas from Mexico in 1990. Africanized honeybees may now be found in California, Nevada, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Western Louisiana, Southern Arkansas, and Central and Southern Florida. Africanized honeybees are hazardous stinging insects known to pursue individuals for more than a quarter mile when they get agitated. This is how they got the moniker 
killer bee. Number two, birth of human lamb. A sheep gave birth to a dead lamb that had a human-like face. The lamb was born in a hamlet near Izmir, Turkey. Arhan Elibol, a vet, conducted a cesarean on the animal to remove the lamb, but was startled to observe that the characteristics of the lamb's nose were remarkably similar to a human face. I've seen mutations in cows and sheep before, and I've seen a one-eyed calf, a two-headed calf, and a five-legged calf. But when I saw this child, I couldn't believe my eyes. His mother could not deliver him, so I was forced to assist the animal, the 29-year-old veterinarian said. The lamb's eyes, nose, and mouth were human, but the ears were sheep's, according to CNNTurk.com. Veterinarians believe an incorrect mutation caused the uncommon transformation because the lamb's mother's feed was high in vitamin A. In September 2009, a goat in Zimbabwe gave birth to a similar baby. The mutant infant born with human-like head survived for many hours before being slain by the terrified village members. The governor of the province wherein the ugly goat was born said that the small goat resulted from an unnatural encounter between a female goat and a man. Number 1. Human Mice It could be the weirdest news you've read today. The Japanese government has finally permitted scientists to grow human organs inside animals. If successful, this contentious experiment might open the path for new supplies of organs for human transplant. After the Japanese government lifted the ban on stem cell research, Japanese scientists are gearing up to create the first human-animal hybrid. In this project, Dr. Hiromitsu Nakauchi, a researcher at the University of Tokyo and Stanford University in California, will try to place human cells in animals such as rats and mice. This method includes modifying genes so the fertilized egg lacks a particular organ. Human cells are injected into an animal embryo, and this genetically modified embryo is subsequently implanted into an animal's womb. Consequently, the infant animal will be born with a human organ rather than its own. The human-animal hybrid experiment remains exceedingly dubious to this day, with some even considering it a violation of nature's laws and a challenge to God's will. However, if successful, it may result in an infinite supply of organs for human transplantation. Which of these crossbreeding experiments shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments section and stay tuned with Lost Knowledge for more of this type of intriguing video. Take care.